Hi, good evening, all of you, ladies and gentlemen, leaders and coaches. Thank you very much for joining me from different parts of India and other countries as well. So please uh, go to the chat and let me know from which part of uh, the country are you? Hi, Sheila. Thank you, ma'am. How are you doing? Hi, Hannah. Good evening. Hi, Shamira. Good evening. Nice to see you all. Who else? Yes, it's 7.30. All of you know 7.30. There is no one second delay. We started sharp 7.30 and this time we are going to go till 9 o'clock. It's 19 minutes. And as usual, Hannah would be my time manager. She's already there on time. Uh, thank you, Pradeep. PG from Kodium. Uh, yes, uh, somebody from Calicut. Good, excellent. So those who are here for the very first time, just go and type me if you're here for the very first time. Just go and type me, please. Good. Okay, let me get rid of this. All right. Hi, Rashid. Hi, Hi Sensi. How are you? Good, good. Hi, Shaji. Shaji is logging in. Hi, Captain Krishna Kumar. Hi, Mr. Abdeni. Hi, Alex. Hi, Sensi. How are you doing? I, I hope you had a you had enjoyed your trip. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sure. We 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 heard uh, the train announcement. Once we are doing a session, and we heard the train announcement. Uh, so we. I, I so, have kept the, up the I have kept the mobile in my pocket. Yeah. So I knew that you are traveling. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, sir. Thank you. So yeah, Divya, welcome on board. Yes, so without much ado, let's start with the question that you have. Any question, those who are very first time here. So just go and start with the question. Any question that you have with regards to uh, leadership, self-development, self-mastery, uh, it could be on management, it could be on uh, personal development, it could be on courses, it could be on coaching. So anything related to that, you can also ask me questions with related to business, no issues at all. However, my answer would not be based on your individual specific business because there are a lot of business models. However, I'll be speaking and answering you from a leadership perspective. So you're free to ask me any questions. So let's let's start the ball rolling. Anyone from our our current team, you can ask so that you can keep the ball rolling because the newcomers would be a little hesitant to ask me questions. I know that that's normal. So go ahead, anyone from our Ledge International, go ahead and ask me any question and I'll start from there. Don't wait, don't keep it for the end, okay? I know Rashid is the one to keep it for the end always. That is true. Sometimes I'll be in the middle of something or I wait for the newcomers. <laughs> yeah, to I know. So I sh we shouldn't waste their time that way. No, you can go ahead. If you have a question, just go ahead. Let me uh, something uh, yeah. as since we started. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about this uh, even at this noon, uh -huh. uh, the core difference between leadership and communication. Uh -huh. Uh, and something came to my mind is about leadership is all about uh, taking action. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, communication is about uh, expression. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, could you please uh, guide us uh, the basic principles on these things? Sure, so sure. it will be helpful for the newcomers as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's let's make. Thank you very much, Shah, for asking okay. that question. Let's understand what is leadership, and very simple term leadership is nothing but influence influence nothing more that's what i learned from my teacher john c maxwell leadership is influence nothing more nothing less okay now if you are a business person because i know most of you are into business you are entrepreneurs and so forth so if you are into business you should always keep in mind about three eyes i, I always speak about this even if you know, I want you to go and type three I's, please. Three I, the letter I. Just go and type three I, please. Just go ahead. And, and I'm going to speak about that. If you just go and write three I. Good. Okay. Now, what is this three I? And this applies if you are into business, okay? If you're not into business, only two I's apply. If you're into business, three I's apply. And if you're not into business, then two I's apply. The very first one is, I said, influence 
is, uh, sorry, uh, leadership is influence nothing more or nothing less. So very first stage, if you take a three type, number one is influence, which starts with the I. The second one is impact. Now, let me give you an example. Now, it could, it could be through the influence of media. It could be the influence of something that you all are here today. That's the influence, okay? The influence could be through the media. It could be my speech, or you, it could be that you saw my poster somewhere, or you attended a seminar, webinar, or Zoominar somewhere. And that is something that influenced you to come in. Now, once you come in, you don't know who this Farooq Sensei is. You're, you're here for the first time. And maybe my, my speech or my talk or my keynote, or it could be this question and answer session, makes an impact in your life within the next 90 minutes. So that is the second stage. So first one is influence. The second one is impact. Now, once there is an impact, you turn the, uh, the cold client or the cold customer into a warm customer. Once the, warm, the customers are warm because they know who you are, they have either read your book or they have attended your training program or they have purchased something from your particular shop. If you are running your own brand or business, they have been there. They know who you are because the way that you interact with people, you have made an impact with them. Maybe there are two or three different stores, same type of stores. However, the one that uh, the people that came to your store, they found that the way that you behave with them, the behavior, because the behavior of the staff depends upon the behavior of the leader. How many of you agree? Say agree. IG, if you agree. The behavior of the staff, the culture of the staff depends upon the culture of the leader. If the leader is somebody who is not organized, for sure. The, the team won't be organized, just like if you as a father, as a parent, if you're not organized, can you expect your kids to be organized? The answer is no. If your school is not organized, excuse me, if there is no system in your school, do you think the teachers would be having a system? The answer is no. And if the teachers don't have a system, for sure, the students won't be having the system. So it always cascade downward. So let's say somebody came to your store or your school, your academy, your organization, and I was amazed by that i was amazed by that then what happens you can make revenue or what i call as uh, income from me because i'm there for the second time i can come for the third time and i can tell them sir this is what you purchased last time would you like to try this one would you like to take this one did you like to put this one wear this one apply this one and i would be able to i came there to buy some stuff for, for thousand rupees i end up buying for two thousand rupees how many of you got it so i got it so that is the three things that you always have to keep in mind one is influence the second one is impact, and the third one is income. You cannot make income. You cannot make income until otherwise you make an impact. And to make impact, you have to influence. Now, you may argue with me, Sensei, there could be somebody who walks into your store and buys something. Yes, without an influence and without an impact, a person can walk into your store if you are providing something, something which is a solution to the problem he has. How many of you got it say crystal clear? If you are selling or if you are providing something which meets the pain, and if you have got that stuff in your shop, in your store, in your, in your bookshelf or whatever it is, then automatically people will come and buy because they are going through pain, they want it, and you are the only one to supply that or show that. Okay, so going back to Rashid, when it comes to leadership, Influence, nothing more, nothing less, John C. Maxwell. Now let's uh, talk about the second one. You said uh, communication, and you mentioned it's an expression. And this is something I was talking to our two coaches yesterday, uh, uh, Zena and uh, Safa. So let me take the same example I put it here. If I ask Rashid, Rashid, uh, sorry, if I ask Rashid this way, uh, what's your name? And Rashid re replies me or responds me by saying, I'm fine, thank you. Now I get completely confused. I asked him what is his name, and he came back saying that I'm fine. I'm thank. Oh, sorry, I'm fine. Thank you. Now the question is, who is wrong? Now if I look, take a third person watching me talk, ask this question, and and and, and he also and he and he and he also saw you responding to my question that I asked. Now. I am right from my perspective because I asked the right question and you are right from your perspective because you gave the right answer. So the question is what went wrong? It is not about the question that you ask. It is the message that you pass. 
The message should be very clear. So my question was, what's your name? And your answer was, I am absolutely fine. He understood that in a different way. Am I right? He understood that in a different way and therefore he gave me an answer in a different way. So please do understand as for NLP, communication is the response you get. It is not what you ask, but if you get a response from ABC, do understand that that person, ABC, whoever it is, he understood or he uh, he 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 uh, sorry, uh, he broke your question in such a way that his understanding was different from yours. So as a leader, now if I connect leadership and communication, it is always a good practice to go back and and paraphrase what you just said or asked. And you go back. You have always seen me in my coaching session whenever somebody. Uh, whenever I ask a question and they give me all the response, I write it down and I go back and I read it to them in order to understand that we both are in the same line. If it's not the same line, that means your understanding would be different from the other person. Therefore, is communication important when it comes to leadership? The answer is absolutely yes. Communication is essential when it comes to leadership. Rashid, did I answer your question? Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. One uh, question out of this. Yeah. So influence is the buzzword now. A lot mm -hmm. of, there are a lot of uh, influences on social media and uh, yeah. in generally as well. So mm -hmm. can we bracket all influences as leaders? Uh, as long as you have followers, you are a leader. Now you can be a social media leader. You can be on 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 as Instagram as you mentioned right now. So if you are able to, if, if you're able to convince and if you're able to influence people, that's the reason why they are following you. Am I right? Even if you've got one person, that means you are a leader. So very simple. If you want to lead one person, you have to influence one person. If you want to lead millions of people, then you have to influence millions of people. Now, you don't have to do, let's, let's forget about the social media and let's forget about the internet world. If you are having a downline of 10 people and you were able to influence them, those 10 people multiplying and having hundreds of followers below them, automatically what happens? It's your influence, am I right? So that is how you can cascade the influence. That's number one. And number two, if you're online, you don't have to have a downline with your own speech. For example, the one that I'm doing right now, you can influence millions and millions of people. You can have one YouTube channel. You can have one uh, YouTube um, a video, for example, and you can influence millions of people. So the question is, are you an influencer? The answer is yes. If you're an influencer, that means you are also a leader because you have brought people into your circle. Okay, it doesn't matter. You can be, you can be a, a young chap so leadership has nothing to do with the age, nothing to do with the financial background. It has nothing to do with the title that you're carrying. It has nothing to do with all those things. So leader, you can be a leader. Maybe your kid could be a better leader than you. Did I answer your question? Yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go to the next sure. caller. This was just a warming up. Let's go to the next caller, please. Go ahead, anyone can ask me a question. Could you please uh, throw some insight on uh, the importance of prioritizing, prioritizing yeah. and uh, having a focus in our personal life and as well as in your professional life? Thank you very much, Mr. Benny. Okay. And you are rocking uh, on your podcast. Yeah, I, I, I'm seeing that I can see some podcasts. That yesterday was about the power of saying yes or no. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very good. That's that's a very good topic. Okay, so thank you very much, Mr. Benny. Very busy today. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I, yeah, yes, busy. You are busy. Okay. It's part no. of your answer, no? <laughs> <laughs> exactly correct. Right. You were busy. However, you found time to come and sit here for 90 minutes because you felt that this 90 minutes is much more important and valuable than anything Absolutely. that was there in your list for the day. Absolutely. That is called prioritizing. Absolutely. Now, this could be a prioritizing in two ways. Number one, for your personal development, yes, if you feel that you're 
attending the session, it could help you in your personal development and it could also help you in your professional development. So then you, you have to ask yourself, this is something I tell everyone, use the 4D methods and everyone start with the do part, I go the opposite way. The first thing that you have to ask is what is that you want to delete in your that particular day? Okay, what is that you have to delete? If you've got a list, okay, the people call it the to-do list, which I'm absolutely against of. Uh, it is your priority list, or you can call it your, your achievement list and so forth. So ask yourself from the list, okay, let's say you've got 10 things. In no way, in no way you should be doing 10 things a day. Okay. How many of you believe it's good to be busy? Say I. If you believe, then say yes, I. If you don't believe, say no. If you believe it's good to be busy on a daily basis. Okay, Rashid said no. Nawaz said no. Okay, Shankar said no. Anish, thank you very much. No. Great. Henna said no. No, you should not be busy. Have you ever seen people saying that I'm too busy? If somebody is saying he or she is too busy, you should automatically understand that that person has not planned the day. How many of you got it? Say got it. How many of you got it? Yes. If somebody is saying that I'm busy, I'm too busy, that person has not, not planned the day. I'm not a busy guy. Let me tell you. People think that I'm too busy. People say that, how can I call you? How do you respond to my message? And within three minutes, I'm, I respond to all words of message. And people get shocked. How can you do this? The reason is so simple. I'm not busy. I'm so free. I'm a very free guy from morning 10 o'clock until the evening 6 o'clock. I'm free. Okay, sometimes I'm free from 8 o'clock in the morning all the way till 6, oh, sorry, 7, 7.30, I'm absolutely free. But the question is, do I get my things done? The answer is yes. Do I get my things done? Do I do the things? The answer is no. Do I do the things? The answer is no. Do I get the things done? The answer is yes. That is the key to be successful and to organize and prioritize your daily stuff. So therefore, you should be looking through the list. You should be having a list for tomorrow. A day before itself, you should be having the list. And it's always mentioned that you have to go through the list. Once you go through the list before you go to bed, automatically that is there in your subconscious mind that I have to do X, Y, and Z tomorrow. So you have that stuff going through your head. The, the subconscious mind keeps on working. You can wake up in the morning and look the list and ask you also, what are the things that I should be deleting out of this, which is not important at all. It's going to, it's going to take a lot of my time. Delete those things. Just like you delete your emails, delete it. Nobody in this group goes to the junk mail and read all the junk mail. Am I right? That would be the most stupid thing that you would be doing. Similarly, because you're going to kill your time. So ask yourself, what are the things that I can delete? So once you delete from the list itself, once you delete, then the next question you need to ask is, is there anything that is something which is very urgent that I need to do it today? Or is there something that I can do it at a later stage? We don't call it procrastination. It, this is called this, deciding, okay? It's decision that you're making to do it at a later stage. And then what you could do, is, if you've got a planner, if you can, you can write it in your planner or journal, whatever it is, you can say that on this particular day, I have to start working on this particular subject or whatever it is. The third question that you need to ask is what are the tasks or the challenges on a daily basis that you can give it to somebody else? Or is there somebody else who can do that for you? Make it a practice, make it a habit to delegate. You must delegate 99% of everything that is on your table. 99% must be delegated. Only when you delegate 99%, you become a leader. Otherwise, you become a worker. You become a self-employee, you're working for yourself. But once you learn how to delegate small, small tasks, small, small things, what happens automatically, you start enjoying the freedom of time. And the last question you need to ask is, what are the three things that you have to do? I, I'm showing it again, three things. I want you to go and type three. What are the three things that you have to do today which nobody else can do? Only you can do it, okay? Now, these three things does not, does not include the things you always do on a routine basis. 
I'm not talking about that. These are three things which are new things. It's not the same thing that you keep on doing. For example, if you are a person who exercise or go to the gym uh, on a regular basis, then you should not be writing that because that should not be there in that particular list. It should be something new, which would take you to the next level. Keep in mind, it is not the goal that makes you the winner. Once again, I repeat, it is not the goal that makes you the winner. It is the next step that you take that makes you the winner. How many of you got it? It is not the goal that makes you the winner. It is the next step you take that makes you the winner. So this three step is something that is not a step that you take on a regular basis. These are new steps, which makes you different from the same Mr. Benny Kurian who was yesterday. So you got it So everyone. Yeah. It is not the same thing you do. If you do the same thing, you're in the rat race. You are just doing the same thing again and again and again. No, what is that? How are you growing? Because you have to grow on a daily basis. If you do not grow on a daily basis, you go into depression. The only thing that motivates you, self-motivation, the, the, the only way to self-motivate you is to grow on a daily basis. And in order to grow on a daily basis, do something, three small things, which you didn't do yesterday. And that is what should be there in your list. And automatically what happens, that would be either growth financially, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, uh, or, or in your professional level there would definitely be one growth in one element. And that's how you move forward. I hope I answered your question, Mr. Benny. Yes, SNC, delete, uh, decide, delegate, and what's the four, uh, the do. fourth do. D? Do. do. Okay. Yes. Thanks very much. Thanks My very pleasure. much. My pleasure. Sir, may I ask one question? In connection yes, please. With yes, please, go ahead. Annie. I heard about a time block. Time block and time blocking that will help us for uh, focusing one. Yeah. A yeah, for sure. Time block can be in different way. Okay, time block. For example, you can say that from this time to this time, it's the best methodology of doing that is using an alarm clock. If you got an alarm clock, you can set the timer. Okay, you can say from this time to this time, I'm completely key focused. Now, many of you might have traveled by air. And if you go to the airport, any airport, international airport, or whether it is domestic airport, you will definitely find those uh, security personnel watching the screen, am I right? When you go for the check-in baggage or carry-on baggage, uh, it goes to the screen machine and they would focus only for 20 minutes. Only for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, the focus is gone. Everybody, their focus is gone. Therefore, as per ICA or International Civil Aviation Organization, a person should watch the screen only for 20 minutes. Then he has to go and be in the conveyor belt, seeing the baggage coming in, then he has to rotate. The rotation goes on. So it's 20 minutes. So if you are, if you want to do something, you block your time. When you block your time, everything is blocked. Nothing, no disturbance, no phone call, nothing, no friends, no family, no drink, no tea, no notification, nothing. You block it and make sure that I'm going to do one task and finish it within that point of time. And then you can have an alarm, which gives you a uh, which uh, rings and you know that there's two, uh, five more minutes, I need to finish it off, you finish it. It's a very good strategy. It's an absolutely good strategy, I use it. I use it to achieve my task, which, uh, which I may procrastinate, or I do that when I feel that it's urgent and important and I need to finish it off, I do it. Okay, it's a very good strategy, you can use that, you, you can use a timer for that. Did I answer your question? Thank you so much, sir. sir. I have a doubt, sir. I have a question, sir. Yes, please. Where are you from? What's okay. the name? Sir, my name is Mohammed Fazil. I'm from Karnataka, Mysore. Okay, great. I'm studying I'm MBA okay. in finance. I have a doubt, sir. Okay, so How to avoid uh, social media while learning, while achieving something, sir? How to avoid social media like WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram? Hmm. I'm passionate about learning something new skills, adaptable, sir. Okay, so uh, so you your question is how to avoid the distraction from social media. Is that correct, Mr. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great, great. So, Rashid, did you see that I did? A, I used a technique here, Rashid. What did I do? I got the question from Mohammed Faisal, and I asked the question back. This is yeah. why. Why did I ask it? Why did I ask that? Because I need to know that my understanding and his question was correct. Okay, yep. as a leader, you have to always use this technique that somebody asks you something or if there's a conversation, go back and ask the person. Okay, paraphrase it or rephrase it, whatever you call it, you can go back. Thank you very much, Rashid. So let me yeah, answer this you. question, Faisal. Faisal, 
Uh, you okay. can keep your you can keep yourself unmuted. Okay, so I'm going to speak to you. Okay, so here's my question to you: Is knife good? Where are you? Where are you? I'm going. To, I'm checking you. Are you there, Faisal? Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay, okay. Faisal, tell me: Is knife good? Sir, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. If you want to cut something, some fruit, uh, it's good. If mm. you want to kill someone, it's bad. Absolutely, absolutely. Don't you think your Facebook, your WhatsApp, your LinkedIn, and your all other social media has got a good element and a bad element? Sir, there are two phases. Yeah. Okay, uh, do, you, do you agree to that? Yes, sir. Okay. So tell me, what are the good side of social media? Sir, if your mood is uh, bored, then if you want to relax, if you want to hang out your mood, then you can use... Uh, Social media to uh, overcome from your bad mood. Mm -hmm. That time should be better. Or another thing is, if you want uh, to get some uh, like uh, some job application, if you want to uh, improve your skills through social media, then mm -hmm. it would be better. Mm -hmm. According to me, sir. Mm -hmm. And tell me, what are the demerits or disadvantages of? Uh, being on social media 24-7. Okay, sir. Uh, while we are studying something, we are learning something, if you if you get some messages, like ping, some sound, if you get, uh, our, our mood will ping, uh, will go back to check something, who, who is texted, who is uh, finger. Um, our mind will be uh, calling, go to the mail, go to text, uh, go to the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Something will happen in such. Something is happening. Sir. So you get distracted with notification. Is that yes, correct? Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there any day in your life that you have never been on social media, or every day you go on social media? No, no, sir. I have never seen that day. Without social media, I've never. Mm -hmm. uh, my mind is blocked on social media, sir. Nowadays. Okay, great. It's fine. It's fine. It's, uh, I'm a social media guy. Okay, I'm a social media guy. So there's no issues in it. However, I use my social media for my business. Whether it's WhatsApp, whether it's Facebook, whether it is uh, LinkedIn, whether it is uh, Instagram, whether it is YouTube, whatever it is, 99.9% .9 if I'm using or if I'm on social media, I don't go and read all those walls. And I don't do all those crappy things. Okay, Facebook. My Facebook is just three minutes. Okay, my Facebook is three minutes. My YouTube would be maybe 10 minutes. That's it. I don't go sit a lot, but I make sure that my work is done. Okay, because you need okay. to control that. So for me, Facebook or LinkedIn or, or, or Instagram, everything. Instagram, 30 seconds. That's it in the morning, 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, my post goes on. On, to, on, my, on my wall and it goes on to my story, done. 30 seconds, that's it. I don't go sit on Instagram any, anymore. One day, 30 seconds, maybe one minute. Let me put in one minute. That's it. I don't sit more. Facebook, little, very little. I don't read anything who liked me. I'm not interested in those things. YouTube, I'm not interested who is sending me comments, nothing. I don't all those things. LinkedIn, same, maybe three minutes a day. I'm done because I use that as a tool, just like a knife, because you need a knife to chop a tomato. Is that right? So I use okay. that for my goodness. I don't use that for killing my time. I don't do that. So going back to you, Faisal, tell me, now you said that you're a final year student. Is that right? Yes, sir. I'm a MBA student. Uh, you're an MBA student. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now tell me. Is MBA education important to you or is it social media that's important to you? Yes, sir. I am a finance student. Uh, MBA, MBA education, uh, MBA is my favorite. Uh, is, is very important for me, sir. Yeah, okay. So tell me, zero to taken, ten. Yeah, sir. If I have taken marketing, uh -huh. so then uh, social media is better for me. But I have not taken as my specialization mm -hmm. marketing, so no need to come on social media it's better for me sir. absolutely absolutely so tell me zero to ten how important is mba for you 
Zero to ten. Zero. You're not at all interested. And in, 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 in. you said ten. Okay. Good. Now tell me, how important is social media for you? Zero. You're. It's not at all important. It's not essential. It's not the lifeblood of your daily studies and so forth. And ten is really, really important for you. Where do you stand, Faisal? Social. social media. Yeah. According to me, social media is. Uh, I I never say it's zero. Okay. Uh, if we don't go to social media, uh, we can't get anything, sir. Like, if you want to get a job, but uh, uh, there is a only reason to get uh, through social media. If you want to apply for so what's a job, what's the number you will give? So, what's the number you will give for that? Sir, uh, more than five, sir. Okay, give me a number. Give me a number. Sir, uh, six, sir. Six. Seven, six. Seven. 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 Okay, seven. So that means social media for you. Now, what I can understand that. Though earlier you said that you're not a marketing student, if you were to be a marketing student, then social media would be very important for you. However, yeah. and you said that you're not a marketing student, however, you are giving a seven point for social media and 10 point for your studies. So there is a gap of only three points. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, let me ask you one thing. Is it possible for you to go and enjoy your social media when you complete something for that day? As a reward, I, I'm, let me uh, let me repeat that once again. Okay, now I watch my social media in the morning. Okay, okay. I watch. I, I want I, I want everyone to listen to this. I watch my WhatsApp and social media early in the morning. I wake up at 3:30, 3:15, 3:45. I wake up at that time. Okay, very early to bed. I'm asleep at 12 o'clock, but I wake up by 3:30, 3:45. I'm out of my bed and I start with my rituals daily i have a ritual without i finish my ritual i want everyone to focus here without i finish my ritual i will never touch and go to social media how many of you got it and i want to go to social media but i will not go to social media because i have a commitment i want everyone to type 100 percent c I want everyone to go and type 100% C. I have a commitment to myself that I'll do this and only after I've done this, then I'll do this. This is something I, I'm, I like to. This is something that I like to do. However, in order to do this, I have my own commitment, 100% commitment that I'll do this first. I'll finish off this, then I'll go here so that I don't get distracted. Yes, so my question to you is Faisal. Would you be able to do your studies if you are if you're a student and then tell, okay, once I complete this or chapter or lesson or whatever it is, then I'll go to social media. Would you be able to do that? Yes, sir. I'm able to do that. Good. What time would you give that to? Uh, what, what's the best time for you to do social media? Um, the afternoon. Afternoon. Yes, you said afternoon, is that right? Yes, sir. What time? Give me the time. Sir, between three to four. Three to four. Now, very important for all those ladies and gentlemen and leaders and coaches who are here, understand one thing. Now, though I'm speaking to Faisal, it, this is an answer to everyone who are there. Faisal, what is your productive time? So my productive time is... Uh... Every in the morning. Uh, From what time to, to what time? Five to seven, sir. Five and, to seven. Uh, and in the evening, after mm -hmm. uh, seven to ten, sir. Seven to? Ten, sir. Ten. Very good. Everybody here should be having a clear-cut idea about your productive time. For me, as I mentioned, it's from 3.30 onwards by 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, I sleep. Morning, 10 o'clock, I sleep. Then I can't work in the afternoon. I'm a lazy guy, very, very lazy guy. Six o'clock in the evening, just like Faisal, I'll go till 12 o'clock. I'm very productive. So okay. the time that you use for your social media should not be during your productive time. Is that clear to you, Faisal? Yes, sir. I'm clear. Okay, you must be using your social media only when you're really tired and you want, you know, there's no, you're, you don't want to work, you don't want to focus. That's the time you utilize for your social media by doing that, you're not losing anything because that is not your productive time. As, am I right? It's not a productive time. Therefore, you can become more productive 
by using your unproductive time because you are getting something new information. Is that right? When you do, now, now how many of you got it? Say crystal clear. If you got it, just go and type CC, please. If you got it, what I mentioned right now. Good. Now, the most important thing that you have to do, Faisal, and this is a challenge from today on. If you are going and watching anything on social media, you need to ask yourself, what are the three things that I learned? Make a diary and call it the social media learning diary, the social media learning ledger or journal, whatever it is. Each day when you go on social media, ask yourself, what are the three things that I learned today from the social media? I'll tell you after 100 days, the things that you learn from social media would help you to grow and excel in your professional life and in your personal life. Do you agree? Yes, sir, I agree. So make social media something where it's a learning school for you, a learning center for you, where you get everything free of charge without paying any amount, without paying or investing any money. You're just investing your time rather than spending your time. I want everyone to go and type invest rather than spend. You are investing your time. If I, if I go and watch something on YouTube, I am spending my time. But after my YouTube, if I watch one, whatever it is, for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I write it down. My spending has changed into investment. You're with me, Faisal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you take this challenge from today on? Yes, sir. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Zero to ten. How confident are you that you will take this challenge? Uh -huh. um, Sorry, I didn't. I didn't hear that. Um, I didn't hear that. Little more louder, please. Um, sir. Very good. And you're going to start from tomorrow onwards. Make your own journal. Make your own diary. Write it down on a daily basis. I'll tell you. Will sir, change. From tomorrow, I will start from now. Because now you don't do it. Because now it's your productive time. Yeah, after ten. After, okay, after 10, okay, fine, after 10. But make sure that you don't sit for a long time. Okay, after 10, yes. After 10, absolutely okay. fine. And then you focus. Did I answer your question, Faisal? Okay, sir. Did I answer your question? Did I answer your question? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Everyone go and say thank you, Faisal. Just go and say thank you, Faisal. Right, let's go to the next caller, please. Hello. Yes, uh, that is Ismail. Is that right? Yeah. Where are yeah. you from? Where are you from? Actually, I am from Kotekel, but uh, now I'm working in uh, Kenya. Where? Nairobi? Nairobi, yeah. Or Mombasa? Nairobi, Nairobi. I come and conduct training there, okay? I, 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 okay. Come, I come to Nairobi, I come to Mombasa. Yes, go ahead. Oh. What's, what's, your, what's your question? Okay, actually my question is that I'm a, uh, how to improve concentration? Because uh, for example, if I watch a video, just even, even it is a entertaining video, I can't concentrate to, into that video. That is my challenge. If I do some uh, work, even it is some uh, email or something, I lose my concentration, I may go to, a lot of things, maybe more than 10 things I will go, I don't know how to, I hope you understood what I'm meant. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Are you in the timber business? No, actually I'm, a, I'm in an ATM business, ATM okay. machines. Okay, great, great. Because I know somebody from Cortical who is into those that particular business in Kenya. All right. Oh, okay. okay. I'm also heard about that, but I haven't met him. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think. Okay. Right. When, so, he, so here, here, here we go. You said that you have no focus and you you have less concentration, even if it's an entertainment video that you watch. And am I right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Now, give me three things that you are facing when when you say about writing email and you get distracted. What are the three? What are the three things that distract you actually? Uh, one thing, uh, while I, the first one, while I'm uh, writing content, e uh, email content, while I'm thinking, uh, my concentration will go to somewhere. Mm -hmm. So it will take a lot of time. That's a challenge. Okay. One. The another one. Yeah, while I'm sending, 
Mm-hmm. Sometimes I forget to write subject, maybe, mm-hmm. or write to uh, forget to CC someone. Mm-hmm. Then after I send out, I think uh, I'll think I think uh, I forget that one. Mm-hmm. That is another one. Mm-hmm. Then third one. Mm. You want specifically while yeah. I am writing yeah. an email? Uh, no, right? no, no, not necessarily. It could be anything. Not, uh, not email. You said two things. Anything else? Anything else? Give me another thing. Anything that, else? Okay. Yeah, that you do on a daily basis. You get distracted completely. Okay. Oh, yeah. While I while I am attending a meeting mm-hmm. or customer meeting, mm-hmm. I was in. I was talking with them, but. Uh, my mind will be somewhere <laughs> so dangerous so i can catch the points then after complete uh, the meeting i i don't uh, i'll go to uh, i want to do some extra work to catch what they did from the colleague or who else uh, joined i want to ask them <laughs> that's a challenge yeah very good excellent so thank you very much number one ismail thank you very much for sharing this uh, uh, concerned with me. Have you heard of something called strategy? Of course, I, of course, yeah. Yeah, and have you heard something called the system? Yeah, of course, of okay. course, yeah. So let's talk about that, okay? Now, Okay. and have you heard of something called the SOP? Yeah, I heard, yeah. Okay, so what is SOP? Uh, standard operating procedure. Exactly correct. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you write an email and you feel that you are misplacing either the CC or maybe the uh, the subject or maybe you're missing something, you might be having a template or you might be having a checklist. My question to you is, would you, if you are creating, let's say that you are reporting to me, okay, just for a namesake, just imagine that you are reporting to me, okay? Okay. Okay. Your, let's say that I'm your boss. Let me put it that way for just a few minutes. Okay. So oh, tell me, okay. and I, I, I told you, Ismail, I, I, there are 10 new joiners who, have, who are going to join tomorrow under you. Okay. Okay. And yeah. I want them to be professional in their email etiquette and email writing and content writing and so forth. So Ismail, I want you to create a checklist for me so that uh-huh. I can use that checklist and distribute that to all the new joiners. So they follow exactly the same principle and steps that you are following. Okay, I understood you. I can't, yeah, okay, I understood. So now I want you to give me five points that you would include in the checklist. Go ahead. Okay. Number one. Okay. Uh, in the checklist number one, uh two two mm-hmm. in bracket i mentioned we have to put uh we have to include the name of uh whom we are sending to yes number two then number two yep number two we have to we have to select from the drop down list Mm-hmm. Uh, who, whoever we want to see seat to. Very good. Number three. Number number three. We of course we have to write subject in yeah. this format, mm-hmm. in a particular format or something. Mm-hmm. Number four, you should have a start with dear uh, yeah. or some. Uh, if it is a formal, of course it's a as a boss it's a formal so. It should be start with the dear or hi sir or something. I sorry, hi hi plus name or dear yeah. name, something yeah. like that. Okay. Then the next one, uh, it should have a greet uh, greeting based on the time time bound. Okay. Just like good afternoon, mm-hmm. uh, and also based on the relation. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then. Then, the next one is the. The point, the content, the content of the email. Mm-hmm. Then uh, finally, the conclusion. 
-hmm. And uh, then uh, signature, what we call the regards and mm -hmm. name, phone number, something like that. It's a signature, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So what you did right now is you have created a strategy of drafting an email in an official manner. Is that right, Ismail? Yeah. And this is also a checklist. Do you agree? Yeah, it's a checklist, yeah. So now my question is, next time when you start writing your, your email, and if you have this checklist on your desktop or your laptop or you know, on your pad somewhere, and before you press the send button, would you be able to go back to your checklist and see everything is done or not? Yeah, if I have this document or this checklist in front of me, mm -hmm. the first couple of, yeah, few days, if I keep, I think I can improve. Absolutely. For example, I'll give an example. If you are a customer service agent, okay, working uh -huh. for XYZ company, okay, uh -huh. or if you are in the security department of an XYZ major company, and uh -huh. if you get a call saying that we have an issue, we have a challenge, we have a suspected person, they would ask a few questions, and those questions are already there near to the telephone. You got me a checklist. So calm down, sir. So tell me from which part are you calling? What is the condition? What is the height of the person? There are many questions which are already drafted. A checklist is already drafted. So they don't miss anything and they get the exact location information of the person who is calling you. You're with me? Why? Uh, sorry, I lost you for a second. Okay. Could uh, you come back? Please? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. If you are in the emergency department, yeah. Okay. If you are in the emergency department, you are the one to uh, attend the telephone. If you uh -huh. are getting a suspicious phone, okay, you don't uh -huh. ask any stupid questions because if you ask a stupid question, then all, everything would be rotten completely. Okay, it will get, uh -huh. get messed up. So therefore, uh -huh. any such cases comes in, those people who get this call, they have a checklist in front of them. Okay, and there yeah. are specific questions that they need to ask to the caller so that they can identify the location, the, uh, the cases and whatever it is, whether it's a hijack or whatever it is. Okay? Yeah. System. Yeah, There's that's a system it. in place. Now, the uh -huh, same yeah. thing. Now, now you have identified, now this is something very good that has happened from your side, that you have uh -huh. identified that you, this, you get distracted, whether it is email or whether it's in a meeting and so forth. So before you go for a meeting, you have a checklist uh -huh. with yourself. Before you, uh, before you go for a meeting, you need to have a checklist with yourself because you are a person who is forgetting things. For me, yeah. for me, I don't require a checklist. However, I do a meeting in my mind before I go for the meeting. That is called uh -huh. meeting before the meeting. I want everyone to go and type meeting before the meeting. I want everyone mm -hmm. to go and type meeting before the meeting. So if you play with the meeting before you go for the meeting, when you are in the meeting, you know what's going to happen in the meeting. Mm -hmm. You got me? So if yeah, you, I got it. If you I... really role play the meeting before you go for the meeting, then once you go to the meeting, you know what's going to happen in the meeting. So for me, oh, I don't yeah. require a checklist, but for you, you have identified that these are the areas of improvement. And one of the mm -hmm. best tool, one of the best tool for not forgetting things is called a checklist. Uh -huh. Create a checklist. Yeah, that's... Create a checklist, use the checklist wherever you want, whether it is for meeting, whether it is for wherever you're losing your concentration, use a checklist. Yeah. Is that okay, okay. Faisal? Okay. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy. Of okay. course, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Zero to 10, give me what is the number right now? Zero to 10, 10, okay, you're happy. Zero, I'm, yeah, I'm not happy, give me a number. Uh, I say seven because yeah, that's also fine. one more part is there. One yeah. more part is there because while I am talking to you, mm -hmm. uh, my mind went to some word. Mm -hmm. That's why I missed you. Are, I told you to repeat. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Everyone's mind goes here and there. If there is somebody who is cooking something, yeah. my mind would go there. How many of you agree to that? If there's a good smell coming and I'm having this conversation with you near to a restaurant, 
And in the restaurant, I'm getting this masala dosa smell. I was like, <clears throat> and my concentration has already gone. You got me? How many people agree to that? It's okay. okay. Don't, don't dwell. Don't dwell oh, okay. on that. Don't dwell on that. Come back. Okay. okay. Come okay. back. You can just focus on that. Right? Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much, Faisal. Everyone say thank you to Faisal. Okay. The next caller, please. Next caller. You got forty. You got forty minutes more. Yes, that is. Who is that? I'm Jafar Ali. Okay, Jafar. Yes, please go ahead. Go ahead, Jafar from Saudi uh, Arabia. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I have the same problem. Okay. Uh, the same, same challenge. You know, mm -hmm. uh, when when I talk. I, I, someone, I let let me let me stop you there, and I want everyone to focus what Jafar did right now. I want everyone to focus and tell what did he do right now. Jafar used the word problem and automatically he changed the word problem and he said challenge. Very good, Rishi. Thank you very much. Never use problem yes. when, you, when you talk to me. Never use the yes. word problem when you talk to me. I asked Faisal, would you do it? He said, I will do it. He didn't say, I will try to do it. He did not say, I will try to do it. He said, I will do it. A person saying, I will try to do it, and a person saying, I will do it, is two different perspectives. Okay, so never use the word try when you are having a conversation with me, or you are having a conversation with somebody else, or you're having a conversation with yourself, especially with yourself. Don't use the word try, and don't use the word problem. Instead of that, say, challenge go ahead what's the challenge Jaffer. yes my challenge is the same when when uh, listen someone uh, i look uh, their appearance and mm. some sometimes my concentration will go mm -hmm. uh, that uh, that that appearance what what he uh, he his face uh, the difference mm. that i look that way mm. What uh, I didn't hear that uh, what he say, but uh, I look his uh, face, face look. Okay. Good. Is it important to look on the face? Is it important to look for the facial expression? Is it important to look at the body language? Is it important to listen to what the people are not saying? Yes or no, Jafar Ali? The, all is important. Uh, the, the current situation, what I, if I want to listen that particular thing, mm. that is really important, rather than I looking that facial expression. What do you mean? By, what do you mean by listening? What do you listening mean by listening? Means I, 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 my, my all concentration. Uh, now we are talking. Uh, now, uh, we, uh, now we are talking uh, with you. I am talking with you. This this conversation, I want to fo fully focus on this. I want mm -hmm. to listen. Okay. So listening happens with which with, with uh, sense? Is it the ear? Is it the mouth? Is it the eyes? Is it the tongue? Is it the touch? Tell me. You got five senses. Am I right? Which sense yeah. you use to listen someone? Yeah. Uh, mainly the ear. Okay, how many of you agree it's a ear? How many of you agree it's ear? Just go and type the letter E if you believe that it's the ear. If you believe that listening happens with your ear, then go and type the letter E in the chat box. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Any, anybody else? Okay, e, e, I can see a lot of E coming in. In the school, in the college, in the university, they teach you how to speak, but no university teaches you how to listen. Is it right? Yeah. They don't teach you how to listen. Listen does not happen only with the ear. Listening happens with your eyes. Listening happens with your brain. Listening happens with your touch and feel. All the senses together has to work when it comes to listening. When I said the smell of masala dosa, the example that I gave when I was speaking to Faisal, that's also listening. Listening also means that 
when somebody is not talking, that's also called listening. Looking to the face of a person is also listening. It's all about focus. Listening is all about focusing. So is it important to focus on somebody else's face, the facial expressions and so forth? The answer is yes, including what he's saying. Am I right? Including what the person is saying. Is that correct, Jafar Ali? Yes, yes. Okay. So, so tell me, how can you improve that? Give me five ways to improve that. Yeah. Uh, the first way, uh, full concentrate what what he uh, he's uh, talking. What what he talking to me? Okay. Number two. Uh, listening that. Mm -hmm. The second one. Uh, my mind is. Uh, I I want to concentrate that situation. Mm -hmm. Number three. Then, then what I say? Let me ask you a question to all of you. What is the best tool to improve your listening skills when you are having a conversation with someone? Go ahead and type. What is the best tool that's exactly right? Siad said it very correctly. Ask questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best way to listen to someone is by asking questions, because when you ask questions, that's when you identify what you have heard and what you have listened or what you have processed in your mind is exactly what the other person has said. You're with me, Jaffer? Yes, yes. So next time, what will you do? Tell me. Yeah, asking question, uh, when, when that, that word, where the last word I, I can ask uh, uh, what's next, what happened like that, I can ask, ask questions. Absolutely. And that, that is something called the one husband and five wives. Okay. That's a technique. One husband, five wives. How many of you know that? One husband with the five wives. Go ahead, Anish. <laughs> it's and five W. Yes. It's what are the questions? It's uh, what? Yeah. Why, how? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It is so simple. It's, it's a what, when, why, when, where, and how. Okay. You just keep on asking those questions. Every time you get the response, your focus increases, your concentration increases, your understanding increases, and you become more actionable. And not only that, when you ask questions to a, a particular person, that person will be more interested to give you the answer because now he feels very much attentive because he feels that you are focusing and you are interested. How many of you got it? Say, I got it. Yeah. Each time yeah. I ask you a question, when I'm asking a question, you'll be, wow, this person is actually interested in me. In fact, you are increasing your own concentration. And in yeah. fact, it is it gives more connection and that would build a rapport and that will build a relationship. Asking questions is one of the best of the best tools that you can use in any conversation. Yeah, my, so, if I ask question, uh, my mind is not go outside. Yeah, that's so right. If, if you know that asking question will not let your mind go somewhere else. So tell me, Jaffa, from next time onwards, when are you going to use this technique? Yeah, sometimes I already use that. Now, now uh, I got it, this idea. Today onwards, I will start uh, asking question. Go and ask, even if you are talking to your kids. Now, yeah. okay, be, be very mindful when you ask a question, okay? You should not be asking question like, uh, like somebody, a mindful Jaffer. Oh, sorry, a, a somebody, a, what do you call that? A doubtful Jaffer, okay? This yeah. guy, Jaffer, is a doubtful guy. Every time he's asking a question, don't be that. Your question must be powerful questions, yes. okay? It must be powerful question. Don't ask stupid questions. If you ask stupid questions, people uh, won't like you. So you ask questions which are very creative questions, which can also make the other person think. Like, like what I'm doing with you, I'm asking you very crystal specific questions which allow, allow you to go back 
ponder and then give me an answer. So be very specific and I'll tell you that will definitely improve not only that person, it will improve you as well. And it will improve the relationship between you both. Thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, let's go to the next caller, please. You've got 31 minutes more. <clears throat> yes, anybody else? Make use of the time. Hi, sir. Hello. Sir, may, I know, uh, my, may I know your name, please? My name is Sakila. Sakila. Yes. Are you the one you contacted me on Facebook today? Yeah, yes. Very Yesterday good. morning. Yeah. Yes, you are into digital marketing or something like that? <laughs> yes, sir. Very good. And I loved one of your videos. And I shared that video today with my daughters, my two daughters. I said, you have to watch this. And uh, there was another, uh, uh, a multi-millionaire uh, who is my, one of my coachy, and he also watched that. And we had a conversation for around about half an hour based on your video. It's not, you, you were not the actor in that. Uh, the video no. which, which was there on your wall, which is about a very educated nine, uh, a nine PG lady in the UK. And she lost yeah. everything. She had got her property in the UK and the US. And she used to she, she used to stay in Toronto in the uh, in Canada. And she used to come for breakfast. She used to take a flight and come to uh, to the UK to have breakfast. And she used to fly back. Have you watched that video? Go and watch. That's there in your in your Facebook. I watched that and shared that with three people today. And I said you have to go and watch it. It's a fifteen <laughs> yeah. minutes video. It's a fifteen minutes video, and it is it's, it is my status today on my WhatsApp. If anybody is connected with my WhatsApp, go and check my my uh, whatsapp status and you'll find that yes please go ahead yeah okay, sir. okay what's your I, sir i have a challenge that i could not find out my uh, passion area okay yeah i am i have interest in so many areas uh, uh, i uh, good at some artwork mm -hmm. embroidery painting uh, terracotta ornament making mm -hmm. Everything. Uh, okay. But uh, I don't have uh, much training on that. Mm -hmm. On the first watch, uh, I can uh, learn that and I can do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm also interested to do some kind of business. Mm -hmm. But but uh, I don't know, sometimes uh, my confidence level go down mm -hmm. okay so so let me get your uh, question saki that is uh you want to identify your passion and you yeah. are very good at artwork embroidery ornamentation uh you don't have any training in that however if you see that once or twice you are able to do that you also want to get into business however you don't have the confidence whether you will be able to do the business is that right yes sir okay now, my next question would be, are you working today for somebody else or are you working for yourself now? I am working at Ilahia College uh, Engineering Mohatuda as a digital marketing trainer. Okay. Uh, it's a, a central government project, uh, DDU GKY project. Okay. Yeah. So, and also I am doing freelancing on digital marketing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're, you're doing two things, am I right? Yes. Okay, so you are, number one, you're working for the central government for one of the universities, okay? Uh, uh, and you're doing digital marketing there and you're also teaching, you're doing freelancing of the uh, digital marketing, is that correct? Yes. Okay, now, on this side, this hand, I have got three things for you, okay? On this hand, I've got three things. Okay, one, one is your artwork. One is your yes. embroidery. One yeah. is your one is your ornamentation. Is there anything else you want to add in this hand? What else? Your passion. Anything else? Yeah. Anything else? Other than other than artwork, embroidery, ornamentation. Anything else do you want to add in this hand? Uh, okay. Let me take the other hand now. Here you got the. Uh, I want the, to start some business. Yeah, I'll come yeah. to that. I'll come to that. Now on this hand, I got digital marketing. 
Okay, so I got two hands. Yeah. Now, zero to 10, how many, how much points would you give for this one? The artwork, the, the craft work, the embroidery, the ornamentation, zero to 10, zero, you're not interested. 10 is, you're really, really crazy, you're interested. Tell me how much points would you give for that? Only based on the interest. Yeah, your interest and hobby and tell me, what is the number you will give that? Uh, uh, three. Three, very good. Yeah. And what about the digital marketing? Sir, what? it's it, uh, out of five. Uh, it's out five. of 10, out of 10. Uh, out of 10, I will give six. Okay, you'll give six. Okay, now let us let me go to the other one. Zero to 10, when it comes to digital marketing, freelancing on digital marketing, doing a business on digital marketing, teaching and coaching on digital marketing, what is the number? Digital marketing, I will give uh, Seven or eight. 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 Now, when you do the digital marketing, let's say yes. you let's say you want to do uh, uh, you have a project, okay? Let's mm -hmm. say you have a project, and you wake up early in the morning, okay? You don't have sleep. You wake up early in the morning and you say that I need to do this. I love it and I want to do this. Do you do that right now, or do you feel oh my goodness again one more digital marketing? Oh my goodness. What is your condition? When it comes to digital marketing, do you wake up early in the morning and say, I want to do it. I love it. I just want to go for it. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, is it, out, is it from within your, within your heart? You want to do it? You want to do it? There's no sleep because in the sleep also, you're feeling to finish that project because you like the project. Is that right? Yeah, I like the project. And you, you like to do it? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, how many I like you? to do marketing. Okay, you like first. to do it. Okay, you like to do it. You feel very much happy with that? Yeah. You feel comfortable with that? Yes, sir. I uh, I like to study digital marketing also. Even yeah. yeah. Also let, let, let's, let, let's, talk, let's, let's talk about this. Let's talk about your feeling. Do you like it? Yes. Are you fast in that? Do you do it very quicker than other people? You are, are you very faster in doing that? Not much faster. Okay. Okay. So you're not much faster. Because you... I am, uh, I think I am uh, some kind of perfection. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're a perfectionist. Okay. Okay, so you are so you're not fast in that. You are a perfectionist. You believe, but you like doing it. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. When uh, when I see some people uh, with uh, good knowledge on in, uh, digital marketing, uh, I always uh, doubt myself that I, if I could do uh, like them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Yeah. Is there anyone who said that, uh, Shaki, you're, you're doing very good digital marketing or your digital designs and all those are good. Did anyone say that? Yeah, I, one of my uh, teacher told me that. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher in the sense, I watched his YouTube videos and I learned. Mm -hmm. So he told me uh, that after watching his video, I started freelancing. Okay. Then uh, he told me it's great. Uh, yeah. I, I don't have much experience in digital marketing in industry wise. Okay. So he told me that at the beginning itself, uh, you started uh, freelancing and you are confident mm -hmm. like that. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So here comes your question was, what is your passion? Am I right? Your question was, what is your passion? Then I asked you, what is a passion? You said that, okay, number one is uh, uh, artwork, embroidery, ornamentation, and so forth. But that is not your passion. Yes. Your passion <laughs> is digital marketing. No doubt about it. How many of you agree? Say DG. Go and type DG. It's, it's that. Don't, don't go behind your... You can use those techniques, your artwork and all those things for designing your digital marketing stuff. Ready? Yeah, sir. Do 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 Dr. Jay Shankar. <laughs> okay, so therefore, uh, your your passion is nothing other than digital marketing. Focus hundred percent. Now, certain things before we end up. Hmm. You doubt. Why should you doubt about on your digital product or digital marketing? Why do you doubt? So maybe sometimes uh, I am a beginner in this area. Is there anyone in this group, in this family who are right now watching us? Is there anyone who became a champion without being a beginner? <laughs> Tell me, yeah, Saki. 
Yeah. You will yeah. not find one scholar, one scholar in the world without he being so broken and, and starting from the beginning. Do you agree? Everyone starts with the first step, like what you're doing. I was also a beginner once upon a time. Everybody who is here, you can see doctors, you can see uh, lawyers, everyone started from the beginning. Mm. So there is one thing that you have to do is, what should you do? In order to reduce your doubt, what are the three things that you should be doing? Go ahead, number one. Reduce my doubt. To reduce your doubt, what are the three things that you have to do? I want, I have to become more confident. Okay, how can you become confident? Uh, give me three ways. Give me three ways to become confident. If it is in the digital marketing area, then I, I have to learn more. Very good. Learn from where? Uh, learn from the expert people. And and where can you get the expert people? Uh, there are so many people in. Oh, give, me, uh, give, give, give me. Okay, give me the name of two two experts on YouTube. Uh, Neil Patel. Oh, super, super, super person. Okay, Neil Patel is the master when it comes to digital marketing. He's got this orange color and all those things. Beautiful. Yeah. Neil Patel is absolutely fantastic. Okay. Ankur, Ankur Agarwal. Ankur is then absolutely good. Digital Deepak. Oh, Didi, Didi, Didi. Am I right? Digital Deepak is Didi. This we are really, really good. Yeah. Now, how many videos can you watch? and learn uh, today we have uh, sorry uh, nowadays we have only online classes so uh, alternate days sir uh, i have uh, two hour class only so uh, rest of the time i am free and i am watching very good can i give uh, you, I am... can, can i give you a challenge shaki yes yes sir Okay, so during your free time, you make your schedule, okay? You make your schedule saying that, okay, on Monday, I, I got class only for two hours. I got 10 hours or five hours free. So I'm going to invest, not spend. I'm going to invest because I was speaking to somebody else about that. So I'm going to invest two hours or I'm going to invest three hours learning, learning from, uh, from Didi, uh, Digital Deepak or from uh, Neil Patel or Ankur. And yes. you will make the notes of it. You will make the notes of it every single week. You will go back to your notes. And not only that, once you create a note, you must find one student. Can you find a student? Uh, I didn't find... get you, sir. Okay. Can you find a student? The student can be anyone who is interested in uh, digital marketing. Can you find one student? Yeah, I can find. Can you teach what you learn? Every week, you go and teach the person what you learn every week. Is it possible for you to do that? Yes, sir. Is that a challenge? Can you take the challenge now? Yes, sir. Zero to 10, how confident are you that you're going to learn and then you're going to teach? You make your own notes. Whatever the, uh, Neil Patel is going to teach you, whatever the, uh, Digital Deepak is going to teach you, whatever Ankur is going to teach you, you're going to make notes, understand that. You start practicing that. And then by the end of the week, you tell your student, Every week, I'm going to conduct a training program. It's a test run. I want to teach you what I've learned. Is that fine? Who is your student? What's the name of the student? If you're selecting one, what's the name of the student? No, I have to find out. Okay, how can you find out your student? Uh, there are so many. Good. Uh, I can uh, I can post. A... Very good. You, you say that I want only one. Thanks. Or you can go for three. If you've got three, that's fine. Have three people because they'll be asking you questions. The more questions they ask you, do you think that you'll learn more? Yeah. If they ask you more questions, is there a chance for you to learn more? Yes or no? Yes. yes sir. Exactly correct. Okay. Exactly correct. So I select three students. If you can get three students, that's absolutely fine. And go mm -hmm. on a weekly basis and teach them. The more you teach, the more better you become as a learner. Mm. Are you okay with that? Yes. Can you take that from when can you take that? When can you start this challenge? Uh, tomorrow I can make Good. a poster and a post. Excellent, excellent. But before you post, I want you to learn, okay? I want you to learn, but make a poster and say that next Friday. Put yeah, it already I have, uh, um, I am attending classes from Udemy. 
good udem is a very good platform udem is a very good ppt and out of that mm -hmm. very good that's it you go and teach the more you teach the more better you become you become an expert by teaching and there's one thing that you have to remember never be perfect <laughs> oh, never okay, be so. perfect never be perfect i'm not perfect i don't have nice. to be perfect because you're not looking for my perfection nobody's looking for my perfection okay so don't be perfect do it's all about taking action taking the next step and automatically that will change their life and will change your life as well yeah are you okay with that definitely so happy with that happy sir zero to ten tell me how happy are you 100 percent. okay good thank you very much i wish you all the best Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Good. We've got 15 minutes more. Next caller, please. Good evening, Sensei. Good evening. Who is that, man? Your name, please? Yeah, my name is Sadiq. Sadiq, okay. Yeah. Sadiq, yes, please. Where are you from, Sadiq? I'm from Arnaldo. Arnaldo. Yeah. Yes, please. Sadiq, what's your question? Uh, actually, I just uh, am expecting a solution from you. I have no solution for my problem itself, my challenges. I'm completely with problems. Let me use the word problem here. Okay, I'm full of problem. So tell me, what is your problem? Because you have the solution, Sadiq, with yourself. How many of you believe yeah. that everyone has got solution with themselves? Now, I spoke with Saki. I spoke with Rashid. I spoke with Ismail. I spoke with uh, who else? I spoke with all of you. Did I give any solution from my side? The answer is no. I didn't give them any solution because they all found the solution themselves. We always, we have to remember that you have the key to the lock. Okay. So you have a challenge, share your challenge, Sadiq, and I'm quite sure you will be having, and I'll help you. I'll help you to bring clarity because I'm an expert and my team here, they're all an expert in that. Okay. All my coaches who are just right now watching, they're all are experts in that. Okay. So tell me, what is your challenge? Yeah, sure. So, um, I just 27 years old. Okay. Okay. Then, uh, whenever I get stances to speak on a stage or uh, uh, front of the group of mm -hmm. people, I feel fear that mm -hmm. uh, that can be called like a stage fear or something. Mm -hmm. So, because of that, uh, sometimes I'm not able to deal with my clients and i'm not able to deal with my staffs mm -hmm. so even um, i feel the same in this platform also so how could i um, all come from that good so that's the main question am i right right okay sadik if you look at the number of people right now attending this session there are 46 people including me and including you. How many of you agree? Just I want everyone to, to go and type 46. There are 46 people right now attending this session live, including me. And Sadiq, you took the courage to speak. And you spoke well. Do you agree? Yeah, I'm agree because uh, I still, uh, my video is off. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Major, the majority of the people's videos are off. But still, they didn't have the courage or confidence or they didn't take the initiative to ask a question. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Do you agree? So it's not about the video. It's about taking the action which you took right now. So if you take this type of action in the future as well, don't you think that you can become or don't you think that you will be able to express your thoughts and ideas with others? Tell me. If you take oh, this, if you take this type of small, small steps and move okay. forward and ask and, and 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 indulge in conversation, don't you think that that is going to build your confidence and courage? Yeah, that will that will be built. Yes. Now, now you took a step right now. Is that because of your confidence? You took uh, a step. You took a step right now and spoke to me. Is it because of your confidence? Maybe yes, I think so. The answer is no. The answer is no. Okay, uh, let me explain that. How many of you want to know? Uh, I want everyone to type BIO, bring it on. Sadiq just spoke to me and it's not because of his confidence. BIO, just go and type BIO, bring it on. I'm going to explain that. Okay, 
It's not because of your confidence that you spoke to me. It is because of the courage you took to speak to me. You got the difference? You took the courage to speak to me. Courage is very important. Confidence comes later on. So I think you're there with me. Just keep yourself yes. on mute. I'm speaking to you, okay? The first okay. thing is the first thing is courage. The okay. first thing is courage. And okay. when you keep on repeating the same thing again and again and again and again, automatically what happens? You start building confidence. Confidence is the other side of courage. Okay. It's not the first thing. Now, for right. example, let me take, give you an example. If I'm attending an interview and I fail in the first interview, but still have got the courage to go and attend the second interview. I take the uh, in, a third interview, fourth interview. After I have done the seventh or ninth or 10th interview, I'll have the confidence to go and attend any interview. You got me? Though I fail right. many times, I get the confidence. Similarly, if I go on stage for the very first time, I need courage. To sit in the car driving seat, I need courage. To get into an aircraft, I need courage. To take my first depth, uh, deep, deep diving into, into uh, any ocean, for I need courage. If I want to go to, on a, a roller coaster, I need courage. But if I keep on doing, no more courage is required, you become confident in that. That's when you become an expert. That's when you become an instructor. That's when you become a coach in that particular thing. If I take a, a skydiving instructor, the first thing that he had was courage. Then he might have died many times. So now his confidence is level. Now later on, his confidence level increases to, uh, to help somebody else. Now what he become? He becomes an instructor or an expert in that. How did I start? How did I start my speaking? I was not able to speak for more than 30 seconds. Then I started developing my speech. Now I can speak for 14 hours nonstop. Nonstop, I can speak for 14 hours. I just need to have a break for my lunch or dinner, whatever it is, I can speak. Okay. You got me? Because that was the courage that I took. I learned it. Now what I do, I teach people. I teach people how to become a speaker or a coach or a trainer and so, so forth. Things. Now, you said that you're 27 years old. Whenever you get a chance to speak, you have the fear of uh, st or the stage fright. You use that word. You said it's very difficult for you to speak to your clients and you said staff. You use the word staff as well. Yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. You're an entrepreneur. Wow. If you're an entrepreneur, don't you think that it is very important for you to become a speaker? Sorry? If you're an entrepreneur, don't you think that's very important for you to become a speaker and stand in front of your team, your staff member, and speak to them? Don't you think it's very important? Oh, yeah. I think it's important to uh, make a leadership also. Exactly correct. It's very, very important for you to stand in front of, uh, front of the staff member. Now, you asked me for a help. I'm going to help you. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. Uh, are you ready to take challenges? Right. I'll be giving you challenges. I'll be giving you 42 challenges. See, I'm giving you the number as well. I'm going to give you 42 challenges. Uh, 42 challenges. You'll do it. Okay, I want uh, Hannah to say hi to everyone. Hannah, she's only a fifth grader. She has completed all the 42 challenges. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Let me go to Jafar. Say hi, Jafar. 42 challenges completed. Say, Jafar. Hi. Let me go to Anish. Say, Anish, hi. Hi, all. Go to Shamira. Shamira has done that. All of them have done that. Can you do it? This is a challenging question to you right now. Can you do it? Yeah, I can do it. It's very simple. And I'll help you. My team is there to help you. Okay. What I want you to do is, uh, Shamira, can you just post your uh, mobile number? Could you just share your mobile number on the chat box? Thank you. Okay. And um, Sadiq, just touch base with Shamira and she'll help you out. Is that okay? Anyone yeah, who wants exactly. to, anyone who wants to become a speaker, a professional speaker, okay? Not just a public speaker. We are talking about professional speaker in six, uh, uh, 60 days. Anyone who wants to be, become a coach in 30 days and a professional coach, okay? And you can also make money out of it within 30 days. Or if you want to become a trainer, facilitator, online trainer and, uh, and, and facilitator in 60 days. Please take the number which has been shared right now, Shamira Bukhari. And we have sessions. We have got uh, one session is going to start on the 28th, uh, which is for the coach the coach. If you want to become a speaker, you can join at any time. We can help you. We've got the complete team to help you. Okay, so please take the number and three areas. Three areas. Number one, 
is uh, if you want to become a speaker and a presenter, professional speaker and a presenter. Number two, if you want to become a coach, a professional coach, uh, you can become a transformational coach or you can become an empowerment coach. You can become a leadership coach, whatever coach you want to become or a parenting coach. And number three, if you want to become a trainer, like what I'm doing right now, for all that, you can just contact this number. And those who want to become a professional entrepreneur, okay? Don't take this number right now. I'll, I'm coming up with something. I'll be giving you the date within, it's going to start within the next three weeks. I'm going to give you a number at a later stage when you come and attend this recharge program. It would be in English, as well as I, I have been asked to do that in even in my local language, which is Malayalam. So I'll be doing that in Malayalam as well as in English. Wait for it. It's called the Freedom Business Accelerator, the FBA. Okay, so so stay on with us. Is it okay? Um, 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 Sadiq, are you fine with that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Just contact her and she, uh, Shamira Bukhari, Coach Shamira Bukhari would help you. I got Excellent. five minutes, five minutes more. So anyone who can, who has got a question, I'll, I'll take only one question, one last question. Please. Hello? Yes, please. Okay, your name and where are you from? Sir, I am Muhammad Mustafa. Okay, Mustafa, where are you from? I'm from Farooq. Okay. Calicate Farooq. Okay, tell me. My What's challenge is I'm out of focus, sir. You're out of focus, okay. What do you mean by out of focus? Tell me, help me out. What do you mean by out of focus? I think uh, I my, my uh, I'm uh, completed BA and MA in Arabic. Okay. I want to be a teacher. Okay. But uh, I don't know how to say. Say it, say it. It doesn't matter. It's a safe place. Nobody's going to make fun of you. Just go and say it. I can't. Uh, uh, what is my ambition or my goal is I can correctly uh -huh. focus on it. Uh, that's my problem. Okay. When I am doing a job, I just uh, change to another and another and another. another. Mm. Like this, I'm going. I can't uh, make a fixed fo focus in my career. Okay. So you said, uh, Mustafa, you said that you have done your BA and MA in Arabic. Is that right? Yes, sir. In okay. that time, first time I see you in my college, at Punjan Memorial Government College. So you come, came there uh, in a walk with scholar program. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is one college where I, that is the, that is one of the colleges that I love very much. The, yeah. And that's the one college where I don't charge anything. That is one college. I don't charge anything where Whereas if I go to any other college, I do charge because that is a college which made me who I am today. I, yeah. want, every, I want everyone to go and you type go to TMG. I, I want everyone to go and type TMG. It's called Tunjan Memorial Government College. Okay? okay, that was a very small college. Just we had pre-degree at that time. And that is the college. I'm, yeah. uh, I'm waiting so many time to get this chance. Okay. I'm very happy to communicate with you. Thank you I'm, very much. Yes. Not valuable about you, sir. When I heard you at that time in that classroom, but now I'm very. I I know about your value, sir. In that that time, I'm just a student. I I'm not well about this and uh, and my about about uh, uh, what about that is a value uh, value of sir. Uh, I just uh, hear that talk. Just a student. I in that college time student. In that mind, I can. Uh, I don't know that's the value of that word, but now in my now in this this times, I am realizing that I miss how I I cannot I cannot give my all attention to your words. I am just I, this it's time okay. I miss. It's okay. That's all gone. That's all gone. Let's talk from today onwards, okay, Mustafa. Let's talk okay, from today onwards. So tell me, yeah. yeah, do you really enjoy teaching? Yes, sir, of course. I am uh, okay, after zero, my PhD. Okay, uh, zero to ten. How much do you enjoy teaching? Uh, uh, zero to ten, I give ten marks to teach. Okay, teaching what subject? Is it Arabic? Teaching Arabic, or is it some other language? That's the problem. I am uh, uh, Arabic, not but uh, I want to communicate to students, and uh, I can. Uh, I want. I would like to give anything to them. What is the a, a, see, Mustafa? Yeah. Let's understand that you can't give anything. You can't yeah. give anything. I can't give anything. Nobody can't give anything. You have to be very specific about what you can give me. Give somebody. Give me three things. Okay, yeah. Mustafa, I want you to focus in this uh, two to three minutes. Okay. Uh, focus on 
three things and tell me what are the three things that you really love teaching? Tell me. Hello. Hmm. Basically, I want like to uh, psychology training, black uh, teaching, that type okay. of teaching. Okay, number two, you want to teach psychology. Number two, please. Number two, uh, language also. What language? Arabic. Arabic. Arabic also. Arabic. Okay, number three. Malayalam. Malayalam. You want to teach Malayalam language, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Out of these three things, out of these three things, you can do all the things. There's no issues at all because we have to think about and, 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 and. Okay, Arabic, English, as well as psychology. Tell me uh, uh, from these three things, which one is very close to your heart and which one do you think that you can achieve very fast? Uh, my degrees are in Arabic. No, 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 no degree. Forget about the degree. Tell me. Okay, forget about the degree. Forget about your experience. Tell me from your heart. What is that one subject? Heart, that... I would like to teach psychology. I am psychology. very interested in that. Okay. Do you have a qualification in psychology? No, sir. No, that's my problem. That's, it's not a problem. Tell me what are the first step you have to take to become a, uh, to uh, get something in psychology? I, I don't get any guide on that. Uh, okay. Can I... Is there anyone who has completed psychology here? We got masters, we got doctor, uh, doctorates here in psychology. Who, who has completed psychology here? Sir, I have completed. Go ahead. Sumaya. Sumaya, just, could you just post your number here, please? Thank you very much. Sumaya is a very good coach. She is a very good speaker. She rocked the uh, she, she rocked the talk last week. She did an amazing speech. So, Sumaya, could you just post your number there? Okay, sir. Got it? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, there you go. Mustafa, that's a oh. number. That's a number. Did you see the number? In the oh, chat. Oh, in the yeah. chat. Oh, okay, I'm checking, but not here. It's come. Oh, no, some range issue. I don't know. It's already no. there. Uh, okay, I'm going to read the number. Nine six, take it down. What is that? Uh, nine six five six. Five six. Nine six five six. Then uh, uh, seven five. Seven five. Okay, sir. I'm seeing that. I, okay, I... great, great. So anybody, anybody who wants to know more about psychology, um, uh, Sumaya would be the best person. She's a, uh, she's a coach as well. So just contact her, and she would be able to help you and advise you what are the steps that you have to take. Are you okay with that, Mustafa? Okay. Thank you, sir. You're happy with that? I'm happy, but uh, uh, okay, sir. My all doubt, I clear with that uh, coach. Absolutely, okay? she, she would be able to help you because she's she's a qualified coach. Okay. But sir, my mistakes. Uh, I just did my degree and PhD in Arabic. Uh, then why can I in profession in that psychology? Sorry, why? Uh, my degrees and PhD is in a language of Arabic. Okay. How can I perform in psychology? That's my doubt. Anyone can perform. I'm, I'm an expert. I'm a champion in karate. I'm a champion in IATA. I'm a champion in aviation. I'm a champion in, in, in leadership. Is it possible for me? The answer is yes, because it's a passion. How many of you agree passion is important? How many of you agree passion is important? If you've got the yes, passion, you can do anything. Yes, I agree. Passion is Okay, but, but it's nine o'clock. Okay, nine three. I'm just going to take two more minutes, darling. So please do understand that if you want to achieve something, you must be passionate about it. You must be passionate about it. It's not your qualification. I know that you are qualified in Arabic, uh, in BA and MA. That's not what you have to focus on. If you want to go, if you want to move forward, you ask yourself, what is that you want to become? And in order to become, what is the qualification you require? And then go with it. Is that okay, Mustafa? Yes, thank you, sir. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, all the leaders and coaches. Thanks a lot for being here. And thank you very much, Hannah Razak, for being my time manager and all those leaders who are here. Uh, Shamira, Anish, Mr. Benny, Shankar, Alex, Mujib, uh, uh, Kevin, 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 uh, Kevin Kumar, and Madhu, uh, Humayuddin, all Brishni, thank you very much from Assam, Sam, Arun, Jyotilal, and Dadu, Dadu, you're again here. Okay, Sumaya, all of you. 
Thank you very much and good night. And Saturday is in English. Uh, sorry, Saturday is Malayalam. If you're Malayalis and if you want to sit with me, do join at 7.30 and ask me a question on Saturday. See you, take care and good night. Good night. Bye, good night. Bye, good night. And bye, leaders. Bye. Good night. Thank you so much and bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, Sunshine. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Thanks a lot. Bye.